Hi everyone, Mahar Haddad here again. So uh, I'm going to do now a new video that uh, I would like to speak about the time-based uh, access list on uh, Cisco. So what is time-based access list? In case, for example, you are running a uh, network with Cisco and uh, you wish, for example, that uh, you provide internet to your uh, customer or to your employees working in your office from eight to five, for example, and to stop it on the weekend. So uh, this is what the time-based access list, that means that you can uh, say that uh, during the uh, weekdays, you want to provide internet. During the weekends, you don't want to provide internet. And on the weekends, you decide from uh, which the time to which time you want to provide the internet. But not only about that, what you can do, you can maybe keep your internet operation all the week, but then you can, for example, stop some access to some websites. So that's also something possible that you can do. In this video, what I'm going to do is to make uh, a configuration using the uh, time-based uh, uh, access list on Cisco. So on uh, the uh, weekends, there is no internet and uh, on the uh, weekdays, uh, we provide the internet. And then we have to test it to see if it's gonna work. So let's start directly to see what uh, is our lab scenario. So this is my lab scenario. So it's straightforward. I do have here the internet, which is cloud, and the router one is connected to the internet and providing internet to router two. Let's imagine that router two is an end customer. All right, so router two is just an, a computer, PC, whatever end devices. So what I want to do is from the router one, I have to do the configuration over there to say that during the weekdays, then router two can go to the internet during the weekend, he can't go to the internet. So I stop the internet on the weekends that means on saturday and on sunday so that's what you can do of course you can do much more than that as i said but for this lab i'm just going to make it this way now let's check directly if router one and router two are connected to the internet so if i go to router one i say ping to 1.1.1.1 you see we have internet router two at this moment if we ping 1.1.1.1 also is connected to the internet so let's start configuring the time-based access list we go to the configure terminal and now we have something we call it time range. And on the time range, we can just uh, put uh, um, a word or a name, whatever you want. So I would just say here, uh, weekend, for example, just a word. And now if I make question mark, then you have this one, which is periodic. So here you decide what is the, uh, the time that you want to provide and which date. So if you say periodic question mark, look, you have Friday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, and so forth. You have daily, you have weekends, and you have uh, uh, weekdays. So weekdays, that means from Monday to Friday, weekends from Saturday, that's only Saturday, Sunday, and daily, that's every day. So you can decide you to write Monday, Tuesday, whatever. But in my case, because I want to stop the internet on the weekends, so I can just say weekend, so periodic, and then weekend. And then over here, you have to say, what is the starting time? So I will say from, zero hour that means it is a midnight until 23:59 so from zero hour to 23:59 that's what uh, the uh, uh, the periodic time that I want to decide and that's all what I need to do so now this is uh, the uh, uh, remember we name it over here weekend so the time range which is weekend and that's uh, from the weekend from 0 to 23.59. Very good. So we have decided what is the time range that we have. Now we have to start configuring the access list to use it for this time range. So we have to write, uh, we make a named access list. So we're using IP access list and we make it extended. So you have to make it extended when you are working with the time range. So extended. Now, the word, so you can just put any word uh, you want. So I would say, for example, no internet. That is the word, and then enter. Now, I would say here, deny. Then uh, you have to say what you want to uh, deny. So I would deny IP, any, any. So from any host to any destination, I want to deny the IP. And then I make question mark over here, and you can see the time range. That's we have created the time range, and remember we name it the time range here, weekend, right? So you can see where we put it, uh, time range 
it's over here. We gave this name weekend. So weekend. So deny during the uh, time range of the weekend and permit when it's not weekend. So when it's weekend, deny it. So do not allow anyone to go to uh, the internet. And when it is not weekend, then permit it. That's what I'm saying here. So now if I say, uh, for example, do show access list. So we can see, so this is the access list that I have here. So it is no internet, deny when it is on the weekend and permit when it is not during the weekend. Because if you don't put permit here, then you have always deny because there is a deny, uh, implicit deny at the end of the access list, then everything will be denied all the time. So that means we have to make one which is permit. Very good. So now this is done. Now I need to apply this access list on the interface. On which interface shall I apply it? Let's have a look on the interface, which is gigabit zero over zero, the way in, because this is traffic coming from the end user to router one, the way in on the gigabit interface zero over zero. So I will go now again to router one, and I would go to the uh, interface gigabit zero over zero. And uh, I will say here IP access group and the access group name that we created, it was no internet, we can see it over here. So this one, no internet, and then the way in. Here we can make question mark, it's in or out, it's the way in. Very good, so now that's all what you need to do for the configuration. Now, let's do a test. Let's imagine that uh, today is uh, is October 1st, so October 1st of 2022, that's uh, uh, a uh, Sunday. So let's, uh, let's change the clock. So I will, normally you can change the clock using the NTP to have the right clock. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's uh, do it uh, uh, now uh, manually. Maybe I will do a video show you how you can use the NTP on Cisco routers. So let's change the clock. To change the clock, you have to say clock set. And then you put the hour, let's say that now it is 10 in the morning and it is uh, uh, 1st of October 2022. So that's Saturday. So now this is Saturday. That means that it should not work anymore, the internet for router 2. Let's try. Pink, you can see it's unreachable. You have you because it is Saturday and we say Saturday is not allowed. And if you want, you can just do here show access list. And you can see directly that this one has increased. So you see 15 matches. Now, if I do the ping again to 1.1.1, you see this one. If we repeat the comment, you see it's now 30. So it's matching this rule because it is Saturday. Saturday, there is no, no internet, so this router cannot go to the internet, which is the end customer. Now let's change it, uh, the clock to be 3 October, which is Monday. So Monday, we said it is permitted, right? So we change the clock, it is now Monday, we go to router 2, we repeat the pink, here we go, we have internet. You see how nice it is. So now if we do show access list, you can see that those matches showed over here for uh, the permit. And if we try again, one more time, ping, and we check, it should show me 10 matches now, because we sent 10 ping. Excellent. So that's all what I wanted to show you about the uh, the time-based uh, access list, uh, how you can configure it on the Cisco router. So this is uh, the whole video for the time-based access list uh, on the Cisco router. Uh, remember that uh, you need to make the time range and then you have to create an access list and then you have to apply the time range on that access list and then you apply the access list on the interface. And doing that, then you can play with the access list to work on the time based. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to put like on this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified with my new videos when I upload them on my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for the time you spent on this video and till next time.